Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we have a update for Windows 10. If you are on Windows 10, you have a optional update. So if you go to the start menu in the settings app, you will see that in the Windows update and security, you've got a optional update that's going to show up. So it's optional. You don't have to install it if you don't have any problems. It is um, okay but it will install anyway on patch Tuesday. So optional is a pretty big word in terms of update. Um, if you have issues, well, there's a really big list of fixes in here. So that could be something to check out uh, because there's a lot of things that are actually being fixed in here uh, for sure. Now, they, first of all, before any fixes um, have done a little bit of changes in the search. So the search now actually aggregates a little more stuff about what's happening um, by extending a little more of the Bing information panels in there. So that means that if you um, go and update here, you'll have the uh, update that contains a feature which is basically giving you a lot of news and stuff in the panel on the right side, which has anything to do with Bing. So a lot more stuff going on. And, uh, you know, it's a way for Microsoft to actually bring Bing a little closer, try to push it in your f and shove it in your face. But that's the way it is. But apart from that, there's a lot of fixes. Uh, one is search indexer that actually stops responding. Um, there's a lot of uh, fixes that have to do with uh, internet in some way or another with DNS policies and so on. There is a fix for the DNS, um, for the uh, servicing stack, sorry. Servicing stack is the Windows update itself because uh, some people have some problems with this. Uh, what else do we have in here that could be of interest uh, to uh, people? There's remote desktop connections and authentication problems and errors that some people have mentioned that are fixed in here. So there's a few things, uh, quite, a, quite a lot actually, there's quite a big fix. So these are the bug fixes for the C updates. They were actually pushed to insiders in the release preview last week and are now available for Windows 10. No update for Windows 11 yet, um, and it's interesting because if you look at the Windows version, last week uh, Windows Insiders had a Windows version that ended with 19.0 uh, whatever dot 16.18, and it's actually 16.20 that we get, so maybe they fixed a few things in here. So if you're on 20H1, 21H2, or 21H1, 19041, 19042, 1903, sorry, 19042, 1904, and 19044. You're on .1620, which is the ending for the last three updates of uh, the different versions that are still supported for Windows 10. And, um, well, it's optional, so if you've got no issues, you know, we always say it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if there's something wrong, why not install it and see if it fixes anything? Anyways, Patch Tuesday of April will install this at the same time if you haven't done so already. So check it out if you have issues and just ignore it if you don't. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.